Hi guys, welcome back. I have been trying out a lot of drugstore products lately and my CVS girl probably thinks I'm psycho because I've been there like every day the past week and a half. But I found some really great products to share with you guys and I created this very smoky, smudgy, sexy eye for you. In this journey, I discovered that there are really great drugstore products out there and you don't have to splurge if it's not in your budget. You can definitely make it work with drugstore finds. I'm super happy with the way this look turned out today. Here is an up close look. And I made this video for you guys because it was much requested, so please leave all of your video requests down below and I will try and get more videos out for you guys this year. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. For my foundation today, I'll be using the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup. And my shade is W4 Natural Beige. Mine is a warm undertone. I'm just slightly a little darker than this color right now, but when I go up a level, it's a little too pink for me. So I'm just gonna use this and then warm up my skin with bronzer later. I really like the finish. It's like a semi-matte, almost dewy finish. It's medium coverage, but very buildable. Because this particular foundation has so many different tones and colors to choose from, I think it works really well with anyone and anyone's skin tone. So if you haven't tried out this one yet, I highly recommend it if you're looking for a good drugstore foundation. Next for concealer, I am using the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer Plus Corrector and I am using the color light slash medium. I saved all my packaging for you guys so that you can see what it looks like uh, when it's on the store shelves because I find that sometimes I feel like it's hard to find because you don't know what the packaging looks like. So I hope that is helpful for you guys. I love the texture, it has great coverage and it stays really well throughout the day. And to blend that in, I'm using a Real Techniques Perfecting Sponge my all-time favorite drugstore sponge, very comparable to the oh-so-famous Beauty Blender, has a very similar texture, but I will say you have to be a little bit more gentle with this when you are washing it because I noticed that it does break apart and tear easily if you're not gentle with it. I find that this concealer sets really well on its own, so you don't have to powder on top, which is really great. This concealer, hands down, might be my new favorite concealer and it's only $10. To set my makeup, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder. Looks like this inside. It's in the same line as the concealer, and I really like this powder as well. I have a lot of pores and acne scars on my cheeks right here, and you can kind of, I don't know if you can see the pores, but let me show you once I put the powder on top. It kind of makes them disappear and I really like that. So I apply this on areas that I want a little bit more coverage and where I want to mattify. For bronzer, I'm using Rimmel London Natural Bronzer. This is a waterproof bronzing powder in the shade 022 Sun Bronze. This bronzer is just so pretty. I really like it. It has a really nice warm tone to it. I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little more and use the bronzer to contour my nose. Next, I'm gonna do brows. I've been really into using brow pencils lately and the one I'm using today is the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil. This is a mechanical pencil in the color 260 deep brown. I will first use the back the back spoolie to brush my brows up. I've been doing my brows a little differently lately and I've been really liking it. With the pencil I'm gonna start lightly drawing in hair like strokes and I'm just following the direction of my natural hair growth. This is not my favorite brow pencil but this is the best one that I could find in drugstores. I tried Revlon and L'Oreal similar pencils and the color was really off or it was too soft and waxy which I found that it moved around too much and this one was pretty good but I would have liked it to be just a little bit stiffer 
Lately, I've been really into using a brow gel and I found a really great one. This is by CoverGirl. This is the Easy Breezy Brow Shape and Define Brow Mascara in the color 605 Rich Brown. The reason I like this is because I find the gel is really strong. So if you have stubborn, straight brow hairs like I do, it's gonna really keep it in place. And I like that it adds the extra texture. I have the Anastasia one and it's not as of a strong hold. So cover girl, get it. <laughs> now that we're done with brows, let's prime our eyelids so we can get started on the eyes. I will be using the Maybelline Master Prime Long Lasting Eyeshadow Base. This is color enhancing and it's in the color 410, Prime and Smooth. Just on the top because we'll be using eyeliner as a base on our lower lash line. And we don't really need this on the bottom. I really have to press down and rub to get this to blend. So I think you have to work fairly quickly once you've got it on your eyes. Okay, I've got you guys zoomed all the way in. The eyeshadow palette I'll be using is the Maybelline, the 24 karat gold. Wait, no, it doesn't say that. <laughs> the Maybelline 24K nudes. In theory, the colors are very pretty and as you can tell, I have used it quite a bit to test it out for you guys. First color, I'll be using this one here on the bottom. Concentrated in the inner corner, but mainly all over the lid, acting as our base. Then I'm gonna take this one here, it's like a light beige nude, and apply that above the crease and blend up to the brows to help make our eyeshadows blend easier. For the crease, I'll be using this pretty shimmery brown and you really kind of have to like use some force <laughs> or else it's hard for the brush to grab onto. I've noticed that the pigmentation is a little less than. It requires more effort and not as true of a color payoff once it's applied. Then with the Revlon Photo Ready Kajal Eye Pencil, I will create a very smoked out, smudgy liner and wing it out just a little bit. I'm just using the back to smudge it out. I actually really like these back ends of eyeliners. It's super convenient. And now I will be taking this really pretty shimmery green here and applying this right over the liner and blending upwards. Yeah, this color especially, it's really hard to get the color payoff without having a ton of fallout under your eyes. So I'm gonna use this almost black and very dark brown, mix those and apply that into the crease. The matte shades are a little bit easier to work with. I'm taking the same black eyeliner and applying it on my lower waterline. Then I'm taking the green and applying that over top. Overall, I'm not overly impressed with this eyeshadow palette, but it's pretty. But you do have to work at it to kind of get it to work in your favor. Otherwise, it can get a little bit messy. Now for mascara, I'm using the Big Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara. I'm using the color 223 Blackest Black. And I'm not gonna lie guys, it really does what it says. It gives you really good volume and thickness in one coat. It does dry very fast, so you have to work quickly. But this mascara is really good. I think this is going to be the next big craze for everyone. <laughs> I called it first here. <laughs> I actually really like the way this looks without fake lashes, but today I'm going to be using the Ardell Double Up Demi Wispies. These lashes are actually so gorgeous for something that you can pick up at the drugstore. Ardell does really good lashes, so definitely check this out. Now, to finish off the eyes, I want to take the lightest, this white color from the palette and apply this to my inner corner. And that does not have the best color payoff, but I will dig my brush into the palette until I do. 
and apply just the tiniest bit for a brow highlight. Now for blush, I'll be using the Milani Baked Blush in the color 01 Dolce Pink. And just the tiniest bit of that on the apples. And blend up. Now for everyone's favorite part, highlight. I want to show you a fairly good highlight that I found. It is the Physician's Formula Shimmer Stripes in Vegas Strip slash Light Bronze. The packaging out of the box looks like this. I actually really love this packaging, this clear, super simple. I love it. I'm going to use mainly the center of the stripes um, and not the very top. And now for lips, I'll be starting with the NYX 810 Natural Lip Liner. You can tell I love this. And I am overlining quite a bit here. To top that off, I'll be using two NYX Mega Shine Lip Glosses. This is Natural and this is Sweetheart. And sweetheart just in the middle. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching and you picked up some good tips or some product suggestions that you can find in the drugstore. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media outlets like Facebook, Instagram, and I also have a vlogging channel, so check that out. As always, if you have any questions, don't forget to leave those down in the comments. I always read all of your comments, even if I don't get a chance to reply to all of them, so thank you so much. Um, but I will see you guys next time. Bye! Ooh, I'm not going. Another one, okay?